I've been getting asked a lot lately about the status for various court cases and where they are, and today I want to give one spot to point people to when they ask me, hey, where is the mag ban, the ammo ban, the assault weapon ban, or the various 10 Supreme Court cases that are actually at the Supreme Court waiting to be heard right now. So let's talk about those today, and I'll give you a brief, quick overview of what each one of them are. I want to say thank you to everyone that supports this channel, everybody that goes out of their way to like, comment, subscribe, and I want to say thank you to two of my Patreon members, uh, Jackson Fu and Will, or Carne de Asada. If you guys would like to have more communication with me, I do have a Discord, and the link to that will be down below, as well as the link to the Patreon. There are parts of the Discord that are only accessible to patrons, but let's talk about the video today. So real quick, I want to talk about the three, the three court cases that are California-specific that we are waiting on. The first one being Duncan v. Becerra. Duncan v. Becerra is the actual magazine ban. Now, this was what caused us to have Freedom Week. Judge Benitez issued an injunction on it saying that, look, this magazine ban is not good, it is not legal, it is not constitutional. The state of California wasn't really pleased with that, but the damage was done, we were able to get magazines, and the bigger implications of that has allowed us to... Well, I don't really want to say, but I will link a video down below that should get the point across. This was big. We heard the court case earlier in March, I believe, or April. It was done via teleconference, and this was something that seemed very positive. There were three judges on them. Two of them were fairly positive when it comes to guns. The third one seemed a little bit more in the middle, definitely more left-leaning, but I'm positive that this will have a good outcome for us. It's just a matter of when. We don't know when they're going to make a decision. We know that they were waiting on the New York State Rifle and Pistol Association to maybe hear more about it, but it appears as if we are still waiting on that decision. Sometimes with Second Amendment cases like this at the Ninth Circuit, it could take up to a year before we actually hear anything, meaning we might not hear anything till March, and I don't want to keep making videos every, frank, every week talking about this case. But as it stands, the Ninth Circuit heard the arguments. We may get some sort of decision within the next six months or so, let's hope. Moving on to the assault weapon ban. Now, the assault weapon ban is the case of Miller versus Becerra. Miller versus Becerra was initially scheduled to be happening on, I believe, April 19th of this year, but due to the whole COVID and the courts being shut down, they postponed it. And unlike Duncan v. Becerra, and they actually heard it, Miller versus Becerra has not been scheduled. It was initially scheduled and assigned to Roger Benitez, which would have been great for us. However, it seems as if they have not set a court date for this to happen as of yet. If this does change, best believe I will make a video discussing that and letting you guys know. We do not know how Miller versus Becerra is going to go, but given the fact that Benitez has ruled so favorably for us in the past with the ammo ban, the mag ban, and he's going to be hearing the assault weapon ban. This could be big. We've talked about maybe the implications that could come from that, but we don't really know. So the assault weapon ban has not been scheduled as of yet. If it does, I will let you know. Road versus Becerra. Road versus Becerra is the ammunition background check system and the laws preventing you from importing it into the state or having it shipped from out of state to you. Rhodes vs. Becerra was heard, or the preliminary injunction was filed by Roger Benitez. Benitez said, hey, 120 pages of why this does not make sense, why it's not constitutional, and why it should not be the law. The state very quickly applied for a stay on that injunction. Benitez said no. The <laughs> Attorney General and Becerra's team then went one step above him and appealed to the Ninth Circuit. They granted that emergency stay, and we are still waiting to hear more. We do not know when that's going to happen, but when something does happen, until then, ammunition can still not be actually sold, imported, or done without background checks that you know as of today. If anything changes, I will let you know. Now, when we talk about the 10 Supreme Court cases, these are things like the handgun micro-stamping ban, various concealed carry and open carry restrictions for many other states, various states' assault weapon ban laws. These... We still do not know what's going on with them. They were delayed to the next conference, which I believe is the 13th or the 15th. Um, so actually, these were delayed to the next conference. That's the most uh, information that we know. So maybe on Monday we will know more, but basically it's going to be one of those things where every Monday you should be ready to hear something 
because they will either approve or deny or choose to relist and reschedule to hear them again and decide whether or not they want to have them. I've heard rumors from people saying that Justice Roberts, who's been kind of that middleman, the uh, swing vote, has issued a statement saying that they want the COVID situation to kind of ease off a little bit before they make a decision on this. And because of the situation going on in the world, they want to wait. I'm not really sure what the motivation is there. I mean, at this point, how many times do they need to have a conversation about something before they're going to choose to accept or deny it? There's not any real new information getting to them. It's really just a matter of when are they going to actually do their job and choose to decide yes or no. I'm sure it's very political. Unfortunately, the courts are a very political system, and there are court justices that have chosen in the past to align with party lines as opposed to aligning with what the law should be and shouldn't be. So it's a rather unfortunate system. We will see what they do. I hope this answers your questions. Basically, when it comes down to it, all of the Freedom Weeks for California, we don't know. The Miller v. Becerra assault weapon ban case, that has not been scheduled at all yet. The other ones, we're just waiting on some sort of decision to happen. The court cases that are currently being waited on by the Supreme Court, we don't know when they're actually going to make a decision, but it would be Mondays. So any Monday, they could let us know whether it gets relisted or whether it gets approved or denied. Many people are truly expecting that this Monday we will hear more information about those, but it seems like it's the typical push the ball down the road and everyone's like, hey, you know, it's right around this corner, it's right around this corner, and then you get to that corner and you get to that corner and you get to that corner and you still don't have any information. So when there is something worth reporting on, I will let you know. Hopefully this answers your questions. Hopefully this is a place that we can all direct people to in the future because I don't want to constantly be making five minute videos every single week saying, hey, Supreme Court kicked the bucket because that's really not something that I'm sure you want to hear. If you have any questions, drop a comment down below. If you have any insider information, feel free to email me or drop a comment down below. Feel free to join the Discord. Feel free to join whatever it is you want to do. As always, have fun, be safe, stay dangerous. Peace.